Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome back to this. We kind of started starting off at a weird place, but we kind of ended at a weird place last time. So, oh, welcome back to It Moves, because it moves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, this is a weird place to start back off, okay? You try creating an th intro thing with this as your start off screen. It's not easy. It's not. Okay, <laughs> I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was Saturday, and I played outside, quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not, a <laughs> not large, we were lucky to have a long, sloppy garden. Sloping, sloping, not sloppy, sloping guarding in the backyard. We played there often. As much of it was overgrown, as much of it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge sycamore, sycamore tree, <laughs> which towered above all else. And easily imagine, or I can't read with other sound. And easily imagined ourselves in the th throes of a grand adventure. I can't read today. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinarily light, slight, and incautious. But for me, that thin boundary was... A looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. Outside the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room. Watching me play, waiting for night when it could be alone. <laughs> Eagerly filled with hate. Mm, so good. It may sound strange to me. it may sound strange to you. But by the time my parents un uh, ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. Okay, I can turn this back up, I think. I don't protest. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep in there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I was to do as much as speak of it. That was not the words line for line, but another night came. My eyeballs! <laughs> Chapter 3 Thectorine Whoa! Yes, I would love to save. Look at that. Oh my lord. The door is firmly shut. A banner on a long pole. It's too old and torn to make out the details. Not looking at that thing. I'm gonna look at this. Banner on a large pole too. Okay. A huge... Yeah, I'd say that's a huge skull. Do you see its eyes? Yeah, it's a repeating room. Are you gonna talk to me now? A huge skull. Nope. Well, here I go. Just a little kid on an adventure. Well, hello there, Mr. Skull. Are you gonna talk yet? Nope. I'm gonna keep walking. Christopher walking. Is it getting darker? It's getting more. It's getting more and more satanic. Oh! This is what I look like when I wake up in the middle of the night. It just. What do you want? My eyes again. Never migrate after this one. <laughs> Oh, 
What do you got? Woo -hoo -hoo! I'm on a pentagram. Nothing to say about that. Oh, is this a book? Picture of some kind of green landscape. In too bad a shape to make out the details. How much you want to bet that's in my backyard? There's a little bit of lag to this one, which makes me feel like it might be a bigger level. Too many moving things. Some kind of machine. Okay. Tiny bit. I want to be able to hear myself speak. Okay, this is locked. I have a feeling this is going to be a long... That's locked. Okay, this is all locked. So, I need to get somewhere where things aren't locked, as logic would uh, pursue me to believe. Okay, we'll go left. Right? Right. This is not left. This is right. Right? Uh, just a little. Okay. That's locked. I hear things crashing around, but I don't see anything. Locked. Is there something up there that I can't see? No. Okay. Um. Oh. Some kind of machine. Hello! Look, it says hello! <laughs> Why do you do there, Gumna? How are you doing today? Ooh. Guess who just opened something? It's me. I opened something. Okay. Um. So. Logic would make me believe I would want to go this way. Okay. Hello, Mr. Slenderman. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great! Thanks for asking. Oh, man, this game. See, this game knows how to make a person feel wanted. Uh, not up there. Uh, does this thing work? Some kind of machine. Nope. Just some kind of machine. Uh, hi. Yeah, walk away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, it's a little man again. He's got a little pumpkin face. Look at that. <laughs> He's just sitting there in the cage. Just... Should I? Should I do it now? That's really loud. Okay. So, I did find another lever. So, where must I go from here? This was unlocked, so that's nothing. Oh. Oh. Okay. The creepy mask. Can we put on the creepy mask? Must have been the mask. Turns out it was a baby face. Oh, is that the, is the, the, yeah, what's the mask? There it is on the floor. Okay. So what I'm thinking is now I gotta go back to the other one that had the monster guy in. So that he can go boom! Uh, am, I, am I right? No, that's still locked. He's still standing there. You do your job. You stand there, Mr. Man. You stand there for a long time. Okay. 
Um. Not seeing where I gotta go. I'm thinking this is the end result up here. Oh no, it's not. It's open now. Oh, cool. Blood. Okay. Left side's done. Right side. It's only stuff on this side now. So I think if we come about here, we can see if this top door is open or not. And if it, if it's not, so we gotta go down. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 this is unlocked now. Yeah, no, this is unlocked now. Oh, there's a room back here. Okay. What is that? Just a pile of dead babies? It's a pile of dead baby mask. What is a pile of dead baby mask? They're alive too. I think I just electrocuted them. <laughs> oh, I just electrocuted dead babies. Making me feel very good about my life situations. Am I turning off the machine or am I turning it one more? It's like it's already on, but is it turning one more? Is it turning off more? Okay, this door should be open down here with goofball. Holly left. Freaking Jerry. Jerry, did you paint a satanic symbol on here, Jerry? God damn it, Jerry. Okay. Oh, do I go back to the satanic portal thing and stand on top of it? Is that what I'm doing now? Is that, is that how this is gonna go? Oh. Oh, yeah. Can I get in there? Just gonna... He's just gonna sit there and violently suck my dick. <laughs> oh, it's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind, no matter how blunt or obviously they are. One word came to me that night, lying in the darkness, alone, frightened, aware of rotten carnage in the atmosphere. I think that's a change. A thickening of the air. As if someone had dis displaced it. As I heard the first casual twist, the bed sheets below, the first anxious increase of my heartbeat at the realization that something was once again in the bottom bunk. That word, a word which had been sent to exile filled up through my consciousness, breaking free from all repercussions, gasping for air, screaming, etching, and carving itself into my mind. Ghost. <laughs> I, I would have thought the word demon, but okay. You go, ghost. <clears throat> As this thought came to me, I noticed that my unwelcome visitor had ceased moving. The bed sheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. A slow, rhythmic, rasping breathing heaved to escape from the thing below. I could just, I could imagine its chest rising and falling with every soaring, wheezing, and gravel breath. I shuddered and hoped beyond all hope that it would leave without occurring. The house lay, as it had the previous night, in a thick blanket of darkness. Silence prevailed, all but for <coughs> all but for the perverted breathing, per perverted breathing of my as-yet-unseen bunkmate. I lay there terrified. 